You so-called mighty men, you know, you celebrities, you know, you strong, uh, hey, an MMA lock, you know, all them, them um, UFC fighters. Yep. You ain't going to be saved from the times that we're coming into, man. Crime. The mighty men are going to look like jokes in that day, man. Yep. They're going to be curled up into balls, man, talking about I'm hungry, man. All right? Hey, them men in that day, they ain't even going to be men, man. Them mighty men ain't going to be shit in that day. Right? Because you, you can't, no matter how strong you are, you can't defeat a missile, man. When that missile drops, man, you're going to turn into ash. <laughs> That's right. You're going to turn into ash, man. You're going to melt. And it's as simple as that, man. <laughs> that, that, that bodily strength ain't going to help you in that day. Can't, can't. Right? Only, only the words of the Lord is going to help you in that day, man. That's right. The, the That's scriptures right. tell you that the word, the name of the Lord is like a strong, is a strong tower. tower and the right. righteous one into it for cover, man. Right, so that's why we gotta to stick to this word, man, because that's the only thing that's gonna benefit us in this, in these, in these days, man, in these dreadful days that are coming. Come on. yeah, you ain't gonna be safe. You know, you ain't hitting, you know, like a, you know, like rounders or baseball, come on. and you hit that safe zone. Come on, come safe, on, come on, come on. you know. Hey, man, that's how we're gonna be. Hey, the, the righteous running into it in the safe. The name of the Lord, man, that's our power, man. That's right. Right, we ain't gonna be saved by a bitch. So you, you guys, are cuddling up, having that pillow talk with your, with your women at night. You know, talking about shit that you shouldn't even be talking to your woman about, Correct. especially stuff to do with the to the, the congregation, the brotherhood. Correct. Man, you guys are gonna get caught out there, man. That's right. You know, man. your woman ain't gonna, she, you know, she ain't gonna have you get that first class ticket on the chariot, man. That's right. All right. Yeah, and don't give your woman too much information about what you're doing if you're in this truth, man, because the woman is weak, and in that time she might be the one that gives you over to Esau, man, and gives them all that information about where the brothers be at, what they do, who mm -hmm. his name, he works here, and all that kind of shit. You can't trust your woman, man, because she's weak, and Esau will get in her mind, and she will give you up, man, and the Lord will allow that to happen because you weren't diligent and you didn't listen to the scriptures. Come. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I got you. I got something. You got. Go on, no, no. It says Second Ezra four and twenty two. It says by this also ye must know that women have dominion over you. Correct. Do ye not labor and toil and give and bring all to the woman? Just like what I was going into, man. You know, you come home, your woman's giving you dap. She's being that. She's being worse than a lion and a dragon. Can't. Talking shit. Can't. You know, talking about going change the baby's nappies, going cook. You know, why, why don't you um, get food for tonight? Yeah. Nothing's prepared. Her hair ain't even done or nothing, man. She's looking like shit, bad breath, yeah. talking shit, man. You women ain't shit, man. All right? We're real men, man. That's, hey, man, that's why they dig the men of the Lord, man. Yeah, I said it. We're the real men of the Lord, man. All right? And women dig us. When we go out on them highways in the Bible, they know who it is. They know what it is, man. That's right. We're the, lo hey, we're the last stronghold of men, man, in this society, man. That's right. And that's why the society, even if you... Take, you know, that's why the society, you got to take away bass from your voice, man, just for going into a bloody interview, man. Just to be accepted, man. If you got bass in your voice, they look at you as a threat. If you got a beard on your face, they look at you as a threat, man. They want you to, to, to simple down and to feminize yourself to, to fit in in their society. This society is built for faggots, man. Everything has been turned upside down. That's that whole feminine vibration. Can't. Right, that Queen of Heaven spirit is heavy out here, man. Can't. You got how many jakes we see come up to the, oh, but what about my mom, though? Yeah, but yeah. my mom gave birth to me. Them soft ass marshmallow Some niggas, bullshit, man. man. I'm sick of you niggas, man. But hey, the scriptures say that the infirm, the effeminate shall not inherit the kingdom. Exactly. All right, so you guys are gonna get caught up out there as well. That's right. It's verse twenty three. It says, "Ye, a man taketh his sword and goeth his way to rob and steal, to sell upon." <laughs> The seas and upon rivers. Yeah, man, you got wicked two third niggas that will go out there and do some crazy shit over a ratchet sort of hole that's done sucking ten dicks on a block, man. Yeah, they'll kill a nigga to get a bitch, man. They'll kill a next guy to get his bitch. God. Take him out of the picture, man. Oh, man. Niggas are wicked, man. They'll do all kinds of shit for these women. Hey, this is Ecclesiasticus 25 and verse 21. Stumble not at the beauty oh, of a beautiful. woman. Yeah. And desire her not for pleasure, man. Oh, man. And oh, it's, it's the most beautiful ones out of the biggest demons as well, Can't. man. Because how many guys you, you got that, that are grouping over them, man? Yeah. Giving them play, giving them attention. Yeah. And hey, we were talking about it in the car, man. Like, even the fat bitches get play, man. Yeah, even the, even fat, the fat bitches get, oh, they be walking down, you know, with a little purse or giggly. <laughs> got their man, Can't. you know, they got their man next to them. They're fat and the heathen ones as well. The yeah. fat heathen, the Edomite bitches. Yeah. You Benjamites love wifey and them bitches, hey, them man. Benjamites, hey, hey, they're the worst, man, when it comes to these fat bitches, <laughs> but, man. But, but I love her still, you know. <laughs> but, 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 yeah, but, yeah. Man, these Benjamites, man. But she, she, she good to me. She good to me, isn't it? She, it's, oh, man. Hey, because she ugly. That's why she's so good to you, because she knows she can't get nothing better, man. 
right? You niggas need to wake up. And even off the camp the other day, when that, that two third nigga was staring us out outside the flipping kebab shop, man, mm -hmm. with these demonic women all trying to iron us up and shit, mm -hmm. all swinging all that walk, tinkling feet, and all that kind of bullshit, man. But that's the wickedness of a woman. That's the wickedness that's of a woman. In the scriptures, man, the, 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 the amount of wickedness that come from these women is, hey, man, it's, you can't even count, man. First of all, you can catch STDs from these women. That's right. A woman can make a nigga go crazy, kill another nigga, commit adultery over. The amount of sin that stems from these women, it goes deep. It's crazy. There's man. levels to the wickedness of a woman, man. All right, the hey man, she's a deep ditch. That's what the scriptures say. That's right. It man. says, uh, this is back in you. You, you got more? Yeah, 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 that's it for come, that one. Come. Second, back in Second Ezra four and uh, twenty four. And liketh upon a lion and goeth in the darkness. Mm. And when he has stolen and spoiled and robbed, he bringeth it to his love. Come. So you, hey man, you got guys out there that will do everything in this world just for the nigga woman, man. Yeah. Or any woman for that matter, from all the other nations, man. You, you, you cater to your woman, man. All right. The only thing we're supposed to be catering to is Yahweh Hashem Yah Shai, man. Pushing this word, man. Twenty four seven, man. All right. Being firm in it, because that's the only thing that's gonna save us, man. That's the only thing that's going to get us out of this place, man. This hellhole, man. We need salvation. We need saving. We ain't safe yet, man. All right? And that's why we, you know, we, we labor in, in this thing, man. The, didn't the Lord say, pray that the Lord send in more, harv um, more, more laborers into the harvest, man? Yep. The harvest is plenty, but the laborers are few. So if you're sitting there twiddling your thumbs, having pillow talk with your bitch, but, but the Lord said he needs laborers, then what the fuck are you doing, man? What zone are you in, man? Right, you, need to, you need to get your mind right, man. That's right. All right? It says, it says, wherefore a man loveth his wife better than father or mother. Ye, many there be that have run out of their wits for women Can't. and become servants for their sakes. Servants, man. Bend a knee. So instead of being a servant to your Shai, you pick to be a servant to your woman. Hey, that's a, that's a deep sin, man. Marry me. <laughs> Please, Nancy. Nancy, <laughs> just marry me, Nancy. Uh, Got the uh, wedding ring, probably spent about, uh, you know, probably spent about 10 grand on that shit yeah, ring. Hey, hey, guys take out loans to buy God, wedding damn. rings for their bitch, bro. Right, they will take out a loan, a 10 grand loan, to buy their bitch the baddest wedding ring with those diamonds, man. And diamonds ain't worth shit but to your woman. But you know what that's going to do? That's just going to further aid to the adulterous whirlpool, man. Can't. Because our next man will look at that wedding ring and think, shit, she got it made. That's right. Look at that wedding ring here, yeah, she got a man, but I could take her, though. Because yeah. wicked niggas like doing that they shit, love man. Doing that you shit. fucking nigga, you like doing that shit. You like taking other men's women, man. But the most going to deal with you, man. That's right. Yahweh yeah, Shai is going to fucking slay you, man. All right? You wicked ass, adulterous bitches and niggas, man. And you niggas that take other, other, other dudes' wives, you're really a faggot, man. Because the scriptures tell you that when a guy has a wife, you become one flesh. Mm -hmm. So you want to fuck another guy's wife, you, you, you're basically fucking the dude. Because she belongs to him, that's his property, man. So that's some faggot shit for you guys, you wicked demons out there that are watching that do shit like that, man. You're going to get put to death, as the brother said, man. That's right. Right? As uh, the scriptures say, man. Come on. The scriptures, hey, the Lord ain't playing, man. That's right. The Lord man. ain't playing. Uh, you got more on it? Uh, that's it, huh? Come on, yeah, this is on to verse 27. I'm um, still in First Ezra 4 and 27. It says, many have also perished, many also have perished, um, have erred and sinned for women. Correct. And now do ye not believe me? Is not the king great in his power? This is the example that we're talking about on the king, man. Yeah. All right. Do not all, do not all regions fear to touch him? Yet did I see him and apay me, the king's concubine, a daughter of the admirable Bar Barticus, sitting at the right hand of the king, and taking the crown from the king's head and sitting it upon her own head and also struck the king with her left hand. Playing around with a king, man. Hey, a king is, is in that position for a reason, man. A king is supposed to be feared. A king is supposed to maintain order in his region, man. Whatever land that he's ruling over, he's supposed to be... Like when we're, t wait, when we're kings and priests, man, in the kingdom of heaven, hey, man, these women ain't going to be acting out of order, man. All right? right, fear is going to be instilled, man, across the board, man, and especially these heathens, man. They're gonna know to come up to keep the feast of tabernacles, man, because if they don't, hey, man, the king's gonna put down that judgment, man. That's right. And that's coming from the higher up all the way on down, man, from Yahweh all the way through to Yahweh Shai, the twelve apostles on down, man. And that's it, all right. And one hundred and forty-four thousand, and then hey, that's it, man. That's the order of things, man. All right. But well, when you don't have order, that's when you have things, that's when you have these women bucking up, man. Seriously. All right, it says, 
And she also struck him with his left hand, man. Toiling around with the king, taking the crown off of his head. You know how they all play, you know, no all fit. flirtatious. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All of that. You know, she's probably looking all good and shit. Got the right curves and that. So he's all gaping at her. Um, and that's you wicked ass niggas, man. A lot of you fool. A lot of you going to die for your women, man. Yep. Gonna die because they're really spiritual. That's what they're doing to you. They're, they're taking, they're taking your crown that Yahweh Shai was gonna put on your head if you would enjoy it to the end. All right, the, you know the one that was t um, in in that speaks about in, um, I believe it's Second Ezra's from verse forty five. Okay. Uh, uh, Ezra's asked um, who was the man that was taller than all the rest. That was Yahweh Shai, man. That were putting crowns on the head that the men that stood stiffly for the name of the Lord, man. Yeah. Right. But by you guys falling for your women and serving your women, that's like them taking the crown off of your head, man. Yeah. Spiritually, that's why the Lord puts these things in the scriptures, man. That's you right. gotta be a seer, you gotta have the vision, man. Understand that these women are taking your place on the chariot and taking your name out of the book of life, man. That's right, man. You know? Make it says it. Yeah, it says, um, and yet for all this the king gaped, mm. you know, oh, yeah. and gazed upon her with open mouth. Did we just say that? Yeah, they opened God up. God damn. Literally. It says, uh, if she laughed upon him, he laughed also. God. So he's following after his bitch, man. Yeah. Everywhere she goes, she's going. Everywhere he goes, everywhere she goes, he's going. Yep. He's following after her, man. You know? Man would walk off a cliff if she walked off a cliff. Hey, if I can just say, women like when they have the power to do that. Mm. But women don't respect men like that, man. Mm -hmm. They're going to take you for a fool. A real woman likes to be told what to do. As, as much as they would actually deny it, they love to be told what to do. It makes them feel more like a woman. When they don't have that, they get used to being in authority. And that's wickedness. A woman should never be in an authority position, man. They like to be told what to do, and they all know it. You could talk to any woman. They don't like no nice guys. They like a guy to be a dick, right? If you're not a dick towards your woman, if you don't treat her a certain way, she, she gonna leave you. And she gonna find another dick, so so-called bad guy. Cause mm -hmm. they like that shit, right? They like to be dominated. If you cannot dominate your woman, then you're a woman yourself, man. Right? If you're doing everything she tells you to do, you're a bitch. Can't. Yo, you're weaker than a weaker vessel, man. Exactly. How do you like that, man? You're weaker than the weaker vessel, man. That's a that's a very um that's a low title to have, man. That's right. As a man.